think we're live. <laughs> hey, morning, guys. Good morning. Happy Friday. No, I just had a thought just right as it was going live. I kind of hesitated there for a second. Was I think you wore the same shirt in the last one? But I might not. have. My, no, I don't. Uh, falling apart uh, Disney <laughs> Christmas shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why I was thinking. I was like, mm, wasn't that? Oh, somebody can go back and check. Maybe. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's Friday, guys. How was everyone's week? Hopefully it was good. I know mine was busy and hectful. Hectic. Yeah. Right? Is that Hectic. A word? Hectic. Hectic. <laughs> Hectic. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Same. Started off terrible. Ending. Uh, and it's all right. Yeah, it's been a busy week, definitely. Fun times. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of new stuff in. Yeah, in Kotobukiya. We, yeah, a lot of new stuff from Kotobukiya. Some restock stuff. Um, I know we didn't grab it. We got a lot of kind of like third party stuff. The high new full armor set. The high new funnels came in. Um, a lot of like the third party metal builds, like the the green dragon white version of that. Um, I forget the one that's called, but it's kind of like a, uh, it's red Chinese looking. We got those into <laughs> um, it either. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. the rest of those from pre-order came in and I know some were available, but those kind of got wiped out um, pretty quickly, but yeah. So if you haven't got an email yet, um, you should get an email soon. We're trying to get everything out as fast as we can. From everything that came in um you know if there's something on your order that also is pre-ordered we won't be splitting them it, remember everything when everything comes in that order will ship out so uh, but if you have questions feel free to email support at usagumstore.com mm -hmm. and we can definitely get those figured out for you uh shout out to big mac with cheese there and fries who lost his oh, mom man, this week. i'm That's sorry yeah. yeah i'm really sorry to hear about that hopefully the show will allow you to have some Give fun you an outlet yeah to, yeah um but hang in there um we also had a bunch of uh this stuff that is stuff we did grab new from yeah yeah <laughs> this is oh well anyway, we'll just go through this some yep. stuff's new stuff stuff's like new versions of previously right. released kits right. and things so and their plastic wraps are going to be a little bit hard to see you're going to see that reflection on there <laughs> so one is the uh, cross messiah yep and those just came in, right? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. So these are just coming in. Yeah. So if you guys ordered this, a pre order, we're getting them out. Um, I believe there's some of these in stock. Um, mm -hmm. So if you guys are into these kits, definitely look and uh, mm -hmm. get yourself one. Yeah. yeah, I would not be surprised if, if these were already all sold out. They might. I know. Yeah. Some of these, when we get them, there are some. I, I thought there mm -hmm. were some left, but there might not be because I think they got put up yesterday. Mm -hmm. And usually some of the stuff kind of goes pretty quickly once it is yeah. in stock. Never built one of these Metabots kits. Uh, I know they're popular. I know a yeah. lot of people like them. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not built one either. Yeah, the style doesn't really do it for me, but they look nice anyway. Yeah. And they're not that uh, expensive. So on oh, 6,000 yen is the list price for this. But not that big. No. Anyway. No. Uh, we'll work our way up to the bigger stuff. Yeah. New governor. Yep. Actually, I believe he's come out before. Um, oh, and bump, bump, I want to say, but maybe not. Um, we had a version like this. Mm. But is this the one that comes with? So we did get a few. One where he comes with his weapon set and one where he doesn't. And then we have the weapon set separate. So, um, but very cool governor. If none of you guys have built any of the governors, they're very cool kits. Um, a lot of little mm. parts, but they come out really good. Uh, the hex gear mm. line, I like a lot. There you go. It's like this big, massive guy. What's that? Uh, reminds me of Bane from yeah, Batman yeah, Forever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So very cool kids for sure. Um, this one. Yeah, and that is a. Uh, you taught me something about this. Ars Velger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the RE2 release version of this kit. So if you guys don't know the Frame Arms kits, um, the there's the original release. And then if the kit gets re-released and like uh, retooled, the, it's like the RE version, the rebuild version, or the rebuild edition. And usually what that is is like on the original kits, a lot of the original kits came with the pre-built frame, but it was kind of janky. So on the rebuild versions of them, they basically just 
left it on the runner for you to just put together yourself. The rebuild two versions then you usually also have like additional changes as well. So this one, I, and you taught me something too. <laughs> the difference with this one is that it comes with two sites. It does come with two sites. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe the uh, other ones only came with one, if I remember correctly. So, so there you go. Yeah. Very cool kits. Um, this is probably my, my favorite frame arms kit, honestly. Really? Yeah. Mm. Um, I liked I like this one a lot. I don't have this, so I built the other versions. Mm. Um, so I'll definitely be taking one of these home with me. Yeah, yeah. So the Hersfelger design, uh, both the frame arms and frame arms girl versions have many different variants. So you know it's pretty popular. Yeah. Uh, this one as well. Yeah. Lightning Sykes. I know we had very few of these left. So, um, you know, if you, you didn't pre-order it and you want one, I would go on right now and get one. Um, I think we only had like 10 left um, of these. And, and usually we have a decent amount to where mm -hmm. we don't have to worry. But are we uh, expecting any more um, when they do a reprint? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <So. laughs> uh, it's cool, though, because we just in the last episode, we were talking about Zoids. Mm hmm. And uh, I mentioned the Lightning Sykes as being one that I know a lot of people recommend. I haven't built one before, but I know a lot of people say that it's one of the best ones. Yeah. So definitely, if you guys are looking for one to try out, um, it's a little bit smaller than the Liger, just in terms of like the box size. There's right. not quite as much there. So if you want something to just try out from the Zoe's line, it would be a really good opportunity. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, another hexagear thing in a much larger box. Yes. So we've had these before. This is just a, a reprint. Very cool kit. The Agnarage. Yeah, Agnarage. The Agnar original one's the Ragnarage. I think it's just a recolor. It shows like um, here. I think that's the original color version. I believe. Over on the side here. It's this massive bird or dragon yeah. kind of wyvern is what they're called right i'm not into like dragons. Yeah, so wyverns don't have front legs they just have wings dragons oh, okay. have four legs weavers just have two so yeah right. so yeah this would be a weaver there you go i'm a nerd guys i'm sorry <laughs> well yeah well i'll, I'll just uh, mention too the camera is a little bit closer and yeah. the, the audio might be a little, a little different as well i don't know my plugged in uh, using a new computer today so Again, we'll just bear with us. Yes. Next time, we'll, things will be more worked out again. But uh, hopefully, everything looks and sounds okay for you guys. Let yeah. us know. And for any of you that played Armored Core, um, so, Aaliyah, 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 R.I.P. Yes, <laughs> I didn't know who <laughs> Aaliyah was when I mentioned it at first. It took me a minute, but I had, I remembered her from that vampire movie. See, I don't. I know she, she was, was in a couple movies, yeah. but I I don't know. They must have been pretty garbage movies. Wasn't it a car crash or something? A plane crash. Plane died, crash. Yeah. Okay. That's right. It must That's have been in like high school or something. It was a long time ago. It's like yeah. 10, 15 years ago. But um, for anyone like me playing Armored Core um, in our teen years or older, mm -hmm. um, I remember I played the crap out of Armored Core. Uh, awesome game. No one ever played it. I mean, it's just... Mm. You've got to customize your max, but you have weight limits. So if you get certain legs, you can get a higher weight limit to where you can put different weapons on. Mm -hmm. If you have skinnier legs, you can move faster, but you can't have much stuff on them. But um, very cool mm -hmm. kits, though. I built uh, a few different Armored Core kits from Kota Bukia. Uh, just, just really awesome. If you're a fan of Armored Core, and these are all compatible with all their Armored Core stuff. I wish they yeah. would come back out. They had... Armored Core weapon releases yeah. that worked really good for you know, Gundam kits um, and then these kits as well. It, it was they really only like made a, a few. Yeah, like they just kind of focused on the MSG line. Yeah, for which was like for everything else that they were making. The Armored right. Core sets were great for the Armored Core kits. Right, not as compatible with other stuff, but I mean, roughly as long as you can get it in the hand, it's fine. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, for the whole premise of the game is like customizing. Yeah. So obviously it's a good line to release lots of custom parts and weapons and stuff for. But yeah, there's a bunch out there, but they don't come out with new stuff very often no, these they days. Do yeah. So it is that time we have to step away for a minute. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back, everybody. I'll show them this. Here, so here's our giveaway kit for today. So uh, like I mentioned earlier, there's a bunch of uh, new stuff that came in that also we did, couldn't bring up here. I just brought a big stack of the new Code of Wikia stuff that's uh, just come in. 
and there's probably even a couple of things that I might have missed. But like Adam said, there's a bunch of stuff that came in. But as you guys may notice, don't really have uh, much new Gunpla to show because nothing really new too much Gunpla came in, I don't think, since our last episode. Uh, so I think we got maybe a little bit of restock of stuff, but that was maybe about it. Anyway, we do have this, though, which is our giveaway for today. Uh, the high, uh, not high new, the, uh, that one's not out yet. The new heavy weapon system version is the P Bandai version of the RG new. I assume that Bandai will be coming out with a heavy weapon system set for the high new as well. It's just a matter of time, but I'm sure you guys have probably already seen people, uh, adapting this heavy weapon system set onto the high new as possible. It just takes a little bit of modification, I think. Um, but anyway, very cool set, and you guys can win it today. One of you can win that if your comment is selected. So just real quick, what I wanted to do at the start of the show, and I'm just going to do this real quick right now then, uh, was just to double check how many comments we have. So later at the end of the show, uh, we'll draw one of the random comments from the YouTube community tab uh, post or the Instagram post or the Facebook post. So just double checking the numbers on that and then we'll get to answering some of your questions. So, oh, I have something else too that I wanna show you guys, but I'll show you that to you once Adam comes back up. So I wanna show it to him as well. He hasn't seen it yet. Something that I just uh, built up last night. It's pretty exciting. All right, uh, so getting to some questions here from the Facebook post. Uh, Lorenzo asked, uh, PG New Gundam, when are the issues for funnels that demanding? Will the long range funnel uh, partially that stability, uh, problem of stability in getting a PG New? Um, I think that a PG New, and we've talked about this uh, many times in past episodes, I think getting a PG New is just a matter of time. I'm sure they're going to make one. Uh, I don't know when it will be. Uh, just answering a quick question here about the PG new. I'm sure it's going to happen, and I think that uh, he's talking about the long range funnel, which is like new to that Fukuoka yeah. version of it. Yeah. I think uh, you know if they do make a PG new, they will probably make that version as well. And it'll probably be yeah, P Bandai, P Bandai, or, or, or uh, that location. Yeah, Gundam base yeah. exclusive. Yeah, uh, it's very likely, and I think yeah, either way, the funnels will make it difficult unstable probably what they'll do is something like with that uh what was that fi that super expensive new gundam figure that came out the metal structure yeah yeah didn't that have like a a base arm that connects into the back of it i don't know i never opened one yeah they were really expensive yeah. but i would assume if they make a pg it'll be something like the unicorn where it's just got some like a stand that attaches onto the back of it that helps it to stand up yeah probably yeah. um yeah and then they did the funnels were separate from that You've, uh, oh yeah yeah for yeah. that release yeah that was they did it as a separate release yeah. which is what they're doing for the uh integrate as well but if they did a perfect grade i think they would include the funnels yeah. i would imagine so um there was one more thing that i wanted to show but i was waiting for you to come back up because uh, this kit was a kit that we gave away yeah uh, the 100 edge kit which we do have some in stock now yep. right yeah yep. uh are we expecting any more in uh that? just that newer version one but right. there are plenty of these in stock, so if anyone wants one, they can do it. Well, you should want one. I finished putting mine together last night. It's very large. Oh, wow. It is quite big, so I don't know what the scale is on it, technically. It's 1-100 scale, but it's larger than 100 scale, Gundam, definitely. It's almost sort of like the size of a like a perfect grade, just in terms of like comparing it to a Gundam kit. Yeah, it was like way bigger than scale. I thought it would be. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite big, so very cool and really stable. I mean, like not that I was expecting it to be unstable, but it's a lot nicer than I was expecting it to be. A lot of times it's transformable ones are janky. Yeah, too, but, so yeah. and it's not like that complex of a transformation, basically. Yeah. It just kind of like Crouches punches over, over and, yeah. and like the head kind of transforms everything. But no, it is really nice. I was, I was surprised, uh, pleasantly surprised. Again, yes. not that I was expecting it to be bad, right. but you know. Better than what you thought. It though. was better than what I was expecting. So it is a really nice model and quite large. So if you guys are looking for you know, something like that, if you thought it's a, if you like kind of been, have been looking at it and thinking that the design looks kind of cool, I can definitely recommend it for you. So I'll have that review coming out for you soon. Uh, that's in the queue. All right. Uh, what tips would you give to not over sand when removing nubs? Number one, don't use a file. Yeah, my files are. 
I think I only use files with resin. And then you got to wear a mask because you can't really wet your files. So mm. um, you don't want that resin dust getting mm. in you. Uh, I mean, just continually look, you know, sand some, look and see where you're at. Uh, yeah. I think it's probably the best answer. You know, and then if you over sand, then just uh, sand with a lighter grit mm -hmm. and lighter grit and lighter grit until you can get to it. Uh, you know, it doesn't depends on how polished you want it. Yeah. And be patient. Uh, I mean, sanding for me is probably the I hate the most mm -hmm. when doing kits because it takes forever and yeah. you don't feel like you're getting a lot done. But mm -hmm. it is definitely worth it to be patient. Like exact says, switch your grits and you know, don't try yeah. to use uh heavier grit and take a bunch off and then you have all these streaks from it from from the sandpaper so mm. you'll get the it's one of those things that you know, the more time you put in it the better it's going to be the other thing too is don't be afraid to have to go back and sand again yeah. once you once you spray your primer on there uh like that's one of the many uses of why it's beneficial to use a primer or a surfacer on a kit is because then you can you'll really see the parts where maybe your sanding was still a little bit too rough. And you need to go back and sand again. Definitely do that rather than just saying, eh, yeah, I'm just pushing forward with it. Cause if it shows in your primer, it's going to show in your pain too. So, you know, unless you're really don't mind about that. Yeah. It's a good opportunity then to go back and just do a little bit more sanding if you need to. So uh, that's why it's always a good idea to do that. Uh, so far we've gotten two UC suits and one alternate universe suit in entry grade line, do you think they'll stick to the pattern and give us an alternate universe design next or do something unexpected like entry grade ball? Yeah, <laughs> that would be, that would be cool. neat, but I don't know if they'll do that. Um, I don't know. The entry grade lines is interesting because it's not just Mecca. They've got what Kirby, they have yeah, that demon the Slayer. demon slayer. They have like two different demon slayer ones. Mm -hmm. Actually now a third one coming out. Really? Um, they've got, uh, Dragon Ball Z, they got Conan. Goku, they have Conan, they got Vegeta. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Um, there's yeah. probably well, one yeah. or two more. Yeah, so, um, um, yeah. I mean, that's just a, uh, uh, I don't know, shot you know, in the dark, make, but... You know, make a good, well, go ahead. No, you, you. No, <laughs> a good entry grade kid would be like Mario. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they could get the licensing uh, for that. Uh, yeah, um, but it would yeah. it'd be kind of similar, right? Tamashi did have licensing to make figures. They used to make Mario figures. Tamashi uh -huh. Nations did. Yeah. Um, so maybe Bandai can... Uh, but no, I think Bandai really... They don't really follow patterns. Yeah. and or oh. maybe this ours. camera is kind of cutting up maybe. <laughs> uh but i would say it's very likely the next one yeah. will be an alternate universe design but honestly it's you just equally likely yeah. i mean there's there's yeah. so many more suits in uc line than other alternates but you mm -hmm. never know i mean it, it kind of i think a really good candidate is probably the exia that's very likely that we might see yeah um I mean, the high grade one's pretty easy, simple. They could easily make a yeah, yeah. They could easily make an entry grade. That's yeah. The trouble would be the clear parts, right? For the GN condensers, how to keep the kit relatively low in parts. They'll also, have a sticker parts. or something, not make them clear and just make that's possible. It, yeah. Or what they'll do sticker. is just make the clear part just like a clear part, rather than how it normally is on like the high grade. You have like for the arm, it's like mm -hmm. two parts sandwiched together, and then like you have the joint in there and like the poly cap for the hand, and then you have like your clear part stacked on top of that. What they'll do is just have a clear part that gets sandwiched between the yeah arms, probably possible. something like that. I don't know, Ben. I call me if you want help designing that kit. Uh, but that's I don't know. Maybe something that if I was going to place a bet on anything, I would maybe bet on that one. Uh, do you think we'll get back into, oh, this is, I guess this is a question for me, maybe for you. <laughs> do you think you'll get back into making custom build videos? Yes, I will uh, eventually, probably very soon. I, there's a couple of things I've been meaning to work on, but just things keep coming up for me. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get into that, but uh, yeah, I definitely will. How about you? Um, I mean, I'm, Build custom build, yeah. but I don't know if I'll make videos. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, Maybe you can work on something. Uh, any new Saint Seiya myth cloths 
uh, coming for pre-order? Uh, as soon as we get them, they get thrown up um, usually that day. So, um, and then I don't know until Bandai gives us the allocation for those. Um, and I don't, maybe I just miss it, but I know when you look at kind of regular news outlets for figures and stuff, I never really see the Sate Seiya stuff, new stuff coming until I literally get, hey, this is what we can give you. Do you want it or not? Yeah. Email from Bandai, and usually yeah. we want it all mm. um, because it's so limited, especially here in the U.S. Um, so, yeah. yeah, when I know, it's usually the day that they tell me, mm. and then they send me the images and what we get up for pre-order, and we get a very small amount um, uh, just because I don't think that it has such huge demand here in the in the states anyway yeah i mean i know it's always surprising for me when people ask about it because yeah. it just kind of reminds me like oh there are people who are interested yeah. in that. It's something well, that i'm just not interested yeah in, like you it's know? you know there's niche people that like different yeah. you know things which is I mean, it's awesome i think it's probably goes back to what they were exposed to when they were mm -hmm. young yeah so maybe if they like if they grew up in another country where it was more popular for yeah. example or something or like just it was something they watched as a as a kid i never saw it ever i don't even know anything about it so i, I do not either yeah uh james asked if bandai were to launch a new gunplay accessory line uh like builders parts what would you like them to make weapons weapons anything specifically yeah uh, just, just random weapons. well they did so they they used to have the 144 weapon sets and they they haven't reprinted those in forever i think uh gun and base had their one yeah, they're now Gundam Base exclusive. Yeah, so, um, but they never made one 100 weapons. Mm -hmm. So that would be good for, mm -hmm. you know, Master Grades. Yeah, kind of like Kobuki makes the MSG parts, which are awesome. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you, you want weapons, kids, check those out. But mm -hmm. I think Bandai is kind of missing them, you know, that kind of aftermarket add on things for. Yeah. Kids. Yeah, definitely. I yeah. agree. That's the uh, system weapons. Yeah. Is what Adam's talking about, just in case. Uh, you guys didn't know. Yeah, they used to be sold as just like sets and they were like pre built. And yeah, it was really weird. I don't yeah. know why they released them like that. It was very strange. But yeah, now they started making them as just regular, just runners and they're bagged runners. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you guys have seen like the entry grade kits that are just in the bag, they're like that. Just yeah. weapon sets. But yeah, they're only sold at like Gundam base, which the good thing about that is that if you're around a Gundam base, they're more accessible than they used to be because yeah. they used to like rarely ever yeah. get printed. Yeah, very ever. Uh, so they're easy to get if you're around a Gundam base yes. or if you can get someone to go to a Gundam base for you. <laughs> uh, so I stocked up on a bunch of them before I left. Nice. They're coming over with all my that stuff. That was smart. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, they're, cause they're really great for high grades. Yeah. yeah especially like uh, UC era stuff. There was uh, some like seed ones, but there was a lot so that was like UC, UC yeah. stuff. But um, yeah, definitely uh, 100 scale weapons would be nice. Mm -hmm. I would love to see uh, hand parts sets, which they do have. They're not that great. No, they're, they're builders' yeah. parts. Yeah, yeah, and I don't think that they. I would like to see just more hand yeah. options in kits. Yeah, yeah. they be nicer. <laughs> that would be the better way to do it. So they like they match mm -hmm. rather than like get it, trying to get a hand that like doesn't exactly match. Yeah, because build parts had what the round finger one for your you know the and then you had yeah. your regular Fetty hands, mm -hmm. but then of course you always had to make sure you painted them because they and they were like. Just kind of odd design. Yeah. The design was kind of strange. And I don't even think they had a peg. Was there the peg or like the line thing to hold the weapon sets in them? Um, I don't think no, so. No, I don't think those. so, yeah. I think they were just kind of like static poses. Like there was hand, there was fists, Fist. holding hands, open hands, mm -hmm. like that. So, I mean, I would like to just have those included with every kit. Would be nice. <laughs> uh, all right. Any chance of seeing more RGs from G Gundam? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't think that that will be soon. You don't yeah, think they'll make a think Nobel? So. Uh, no, I oh, think maybe, man. if anything, they'll make a Shining Gundam. And he, yeah. he mentioned in his comment here, uh, aside from the probable Master Gundam, I don't even think they'd make a Master no, Gundam. No, I don't think so either. I I have my hopes for a Nobel. I don't, yeah, see, I don't think that's going to happen. And obviously, like, it's got <laughs> that appeal of being like a girl Gundam design, which I think yeah. a lot of people would like, but for like, mass appeal that they need for an rg release i think maybe a shining gundam but that's about it yeah they're not gonna make like a rg zeus gundam or anything. no they're not doing Definitely that not. yeah um but we are gonna make a mermaid gundam 
Yeah. You should see that sticker. The announcement. Yeah. Oh, well, sticker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the announcement of the kit too. Yeah. Yeah. April Fool's. Uh-huh. Terry. Terry did that. that. Made the. Uh, that was nice. High grade box. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Thoughts on the new MGX coming out? Or after the initial announcement, I haven't seen anything else more about it. So. Yeah, and I don't even. I mean, you. I asked you if they did show the armor. I don't even remember seeing the armor. But yeah, then when you said, "Yeah, I went back," yeah, because yeah. um, it was all about the the gold. Right. Yeah. yeah. So um, I mean, I'm sure we'll get more news soon. Um, I mean, we were actually literally talking about this yesterday. Mm-hmm. How it was yep. a spring release. Um, we're like into spring. Now. Yeah. So it's it's it, honestly it'll probably come out fall winter i would be yeah. surprised i mean by the time we get it here in the states anyways that's probably what it would be yeah uh i'll steven asked uh, another interesting question here do you have any idea when the reprints for kasi versus penelope yep which they, was surprising we were just yeah. recently talking about that too <laughs> they were on our july august september um list that we got last week so we did order those when they're on these reprint lists um, that we get, they are just kind of feelers to see mm. what stores want or what demand is. That same list goes to every store in the world um, mm. that orders directly from a Bandai distributor mm. or Bandai themselves. So they kind of collect all that data and then decide what they're going to make uh, um, from that. So just because they're on that list doesn't mean they will get remade. Mm. We did order a bunch so hopefully, you know, other places did too. And then Bandy be like, okay, there's a demand for this and remake it. But it was on that, uh, our last order form that we got for July, August, September. Right. Which means that we'll get those kits not in July, August, <sighs> September. Um, they will probably come out September, October, November. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Uh, but another surprising thing was that it's getting reprinted at all. Yeah. Because we thought yeah. it was just going to be a, a one print yeah. Yeah, thing, but... They were on there. So Bandai Lion again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, it's good for people who might have missed it. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times they do because I mean, they I guess they're considered DX sets. Um, mm. They will make one or two reprints of it, you know, pretty shortly. This has been a little while. It's been what, at least six months since, since the original release. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. usually they do them kind of, you know, two or three, but Seven maybe months, just maybe. these are pretty big sets and i know kind of the demand out there has been you know putting bandai behind so maybe that's why it kind of took a little bit longer for a mm-hmm. for a reprint of this to come out um i doubt there'll be another one and i doubt if this one doesn't get reprinted then it probably is i'll be honestly i'll probably be surprised if it does get a reprint off mm-hmm. this list but um real quick question maybe we can just take from the chat there michael wanted to know if there's if we have an idea if we'll get more or when we'll get more 30 minutes missions. Yeah. So pretty much with every, every month we get either restocks, 30 minute missions. Um, they're on every reprint list, uh, a bunch of them. Um, so I mean, I know there's two shipments on their way here that has 30 minute mission things. Um, so just, you know, I, if, if there's a specific kit you want, I would definitely sign up for an email notification. Mm. Um, if you miss it from us or from, you know, somebody else, everyone's going to get the same kit, um, pretty much within like a two, three week period. Um, so if you miss it from someone, you can always usually, you know, wait for other stores. If they haven't gotten it in, they, they should get it in mm-hmm. soon. Cause we all get the same stuff yeah. in the same time. Cause Bandai makes the same stuff and ships out to everybody. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Uh, that's the reason why I wanted to take that question because I know we just yeah. are constantly getting 30 minutes. Yeah, stuff, so yeah. it just depends on what you want. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sign up for the email phone notification. Uh, and that goes for like any kit, any kit you want. Mm-hmm. Um, cause we're, we'll think we're getting in a whole bunch of them. Um, and they're literally gone in, you know, a day or two or sometimes yeah. hours. So, and if it's up for back order, that usually means it's a pretty popular kit and it means that we're getting a good amount of them. Um, and those are all confirmed by Bandai, the quantities that we're getting, and they have shipped to us from Japan before we've put up for back order. Mm. Um, so you know, you'll definitely get it within kind of the time period. There might be like a month or two off, uh, depending how when it gets out of the port and gets to us, right? Yeah. Um, but you definitely will get the kit. Mm. Still dealing with that, with which actually kind of is related to the next question here. Cody asked. This is a general question about pre-orders that have April for arrival. 
uh, are things still on time or will there be delays on stuff? So it depends on the kit. Um, mm -hmm. We're still every day getting invoices um, from Bandai. So we, we get shipments like every single day um, from Bandai, Kabukiya. I mean, there's, there's stuff always coming in the door. Mm -hmm. um, and so every day we're getting one or two different invoices from Bandai or other companies so depending on what it is, it's either on the way, um, you know, if it's delayed, you know, check our delayed list. But I believe most stuff that says April should be here. I know what we've been doing later lately now is kind of putting pre in like a quarterly. Mm. So if it's supposed to come in April, it would have been second quarter, right? January, February, March. Yeah. So it'd be mm -hmm. a, a Q2 release. Um, so that kind of gives a little leeway for the ports to actually you know, it might arrive at the port in April and then should be to us in April, but mm. now it's kind of arriving at the port, taking a month, a month and a half to mm. get unloaded off the boat. So, yeah. you know, I know a lot of companies have kind of put their pre-orders more on like a quarterly basis. Uh, this question is, well, maybe just this one real quick. Travis mm -hmm. asked, uh, do you think we'll ever see an MG G Reco line? I wouldn't say a line. I would Maybe say a, a, a G self yeah, would if, be yeah. anything. Yeah. Yeah. And I honestly have no idea if that'd be anytime soon. So yeah. I don't, I don't know why they, I feel like the G self would do good in a master grade, but hmm. definitely better than the high grade. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think they will make a MG G self at some point eventually. Cause even if, you know, yeah. Bandai or nobody else likes the series. Right. Uh, then there's people who do, but they're making what other movies, right? Didn't they announce that that they're making more movie versions the... of the show? I oh, think is that what it was? was? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's dumb. Kind of like what they did with <laughs> well, the they did the series opposite. and Zeta, and yeah, and they did the opposite with Unicorn. Right. right, they did the movies and then made mm -hmm. it a uh, a series. No, yeah. Uh, so I think uh, yeah, with them doing that, it's possible that we'll get an MGG self, but I don't think we'll get anything else no. like an MG Grimoire. Probably not. <laughs> it would be nice. I don't know. I could be <clears throat> pleasantly surprised. Yeah, 20 years from now. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I think that uh, probably as far as like the kit releases go, the Grimoire was just as popular, if not more popular yeah. than the G-Self as far as like HG kits. So that's why I'm thinking like it could be. But uh, Jimmy wanted to ask about the new Matrix uh, bunny kit. He said he just ordered that. Any other good kits uh, like these or figures you guys would recommend? Yeah. So new Matrix also makes the Fox uh, yeah. Sniper Fox yeah. one, which is a really good kit too. And those connect together. Yep. Uh, as you'll see when you build the bunny, there's a section at the back of the manual that shows you how to use them together. Yep. So, yeah. Um, so uh, I mean, Nuke, those two kits are really good from Nuke Matrix. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm pretty sure that they're going to come out with another release. Yeah. Um, I don't know what yet. I don't think I've seen anything, mm -hmm. um, any like teaser pictures or anything from them, but yeah. I'm sure they will. I mean, they, they, they've done a very good job with their Mechamasume kits. Um, and for anyone that doesn't know, they're, they're the, the ones that you can literally open up the middle of the body and you can have like the spine and mm. stuff too, which is pretty cool. So you just build, there's just two different versions of the midsection that you build. So it's not that you're taking off the armor pieces to expose that. It's just a different section. You just swap it out. The clear, the clear spine parts. You can build it like uh, that okay. or you just omit those parts <clears> and just build like a normal <throat> torso. Cool. But yeah, they are really nice. Yeah. I can... I, I can I can say I definitely really enjoy those kits. Um, any cool uh, mechanics or engineering you uh, in kits you'd like to see more often? Um, you said it's, I think on a similar question we had before. You mentioned about the sliding armor. Yeah, sliding armor is always good. I mean, more. Uh, I mean, they Danley's done a good job, and other companies have done good jobs with making parts be able to be more poseable, whether the, you know, the joint kind of pops out and then you can move mm -hmm. the part around, mm -hmm. um, you know, the engineering that way it makes kits be able to be more well, poseable. I don't know, yeah. but yeah, I mean, you can, you do more dynamic posing with the kits when they, when they do stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the, the armor does that too. I mean, it just adds so much more mm. detail to a kit. And then I do like that, uh, to a degree, and it, it that's it depends on the kit because like you have that for example like the hip section of the Freedom 2.0, which is really nice, but a lot of people <clears throat> end up breaking that part. Yeah. It's like an infamous 
uh, aspect of that kit that now I know like it's kind of one of those things that once people start to hear about it some people will be like turned off from buying the kit because they're like oh I heard it's got a really yeah. bad joint in the uh, hip and like the same thing with the RG size would be people were worried about the shoulder joint I never had a problem with it but yeah so like sometimes that can cause a problem uh, that just Bandai is you know sometimes it works well sometimes doesn't it works and you just <laughs> be careful with it I would do, I don't want to say it doesn't work well because did um but it goes to the camera again but um one thing for me to see engineering wise use more often is more hands uh, and more <laughs> fixed pose hands i would like to see less engineering in the hands as in, like the fully articulated ones i don't like at all so i would like to see less of those and more just regular fixed mm -hmm. pose hands yeah uh all right let me Grab I mean, one or two questions here from Facebook more, and then we'll switch over to Instagram. Yeah. Uh, ETA on the entry grade new Gundam. So just released in Japan. So. so a month or two. Yeah. Probably the way things are going. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's weird. Yeah. You know, say it's a container. containers and then another shirt the hit or miss kind of when things are coming in uh we have stuff coming from quarter two that is beating stuff that's supposed to be here for quarter one mm. and we know it's at the port they're just not delivering it <laughs> to them so mm. um yeah it's real kind of hit or miss guys i know that's probably you know that it's kind of been beaten down over and over yeah. and over again but um it's frustrating you know, yeah I'm sure. and, and, until but it's i mean it's affecting everything from mm -hmm. stores like walmart so right yeah uh last one here I, uh, this question from william so how does that keep getting better at his video <laughs> totally got me on this one what's he talking about do we did an april fool's video i don't know i don't remember seeing one i don't know sorry william i don't know uh all right switching over to instagram which is where who's not working on my computer Maybe stay tuned. It's loading. Let me just go in and refresh it. Let's go to you. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, you know it was not working. Yeah. Lastly. Yeah. Sometimes. On like the 5G, but I'm not on that. No. Nope. Anyway. All right. Uh, okay. Let's see what we can Your favorite way. versus kind of on even if it's suit i'll still pose it like it's jumping or yeah, something so right. uh that's just kind of like i do mine mm. yeah for me it just kind of depends on the kit more often than not i just prefer like a nice standing pose but um i think one of the most it's that i finished I don't know what's going on. For you guys watching live, is the camera cutting out on your guys' end too? Yeah, maybe, maybe you can. Let's... Connection does. Yeah, uh, about that. But when the camera's cutting out, you guys can still hear. You can still hear us, I figure. Okay. Uh, someone's audio is not cutting out. Uh, apologies for that, guys. Uh, I like the mammoth video Zach just did. Are there any other prehistoric animal models coming to the store? Well, there was the T-Rex kit that came out. Yeah, so they're that? they're doing kind of more of an educational line. They had the we have the T-Rex model, I believe. We might be actually out of stock of those. The tri, uh, the Triceratops ones coming out. They're reprinting the T-Rex one. Mm -hmm. They had the two lime something Limex lime kits, which I know we have the Triceratops one. I don't think uh -huh. we have the T-Rex one. Um, but in that line too is the shark. Um, All right. 
that shark one is a part of that. Um, oh yeah, yeah, uh, the shark head. Yeah, uh, the shark head. Uh, yeah. like a shark skeleton. No, 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 no. that'd be cool though. Um, yeah, the shark head's kind of in that line. It is, yeah, in the exploring nature. Right, lab. right. Uh -huh. So yeah. Um, yeah, I mean they're they're making a lot more and more kind of educational um, kits, which I think are really cool. You showed me the that mammoth one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was very neat. Yeah, it's cool. And uh, I built that uh, with my kids uh, who are four and six, and they really enjoyed putting it together. And now uh, uh, my son keeps asking me when I'm going to bring the kit uh, back yeah. home because we built it at home, and then I had to bring it back here to record the review. And uh, he when I'm bringing the kit back home. I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> Actually, can you grab it right there under the thing? It's right yeah. there yeah, in the yeah. stack. Because one thing I did since doing the review, I went in on the skeleton. And I can show it to you guys now. I went in on the skeleton and colored in the, the details just with the Gundam marker. So, uh, so it's kind of more defined now just to kind of fancy it up. And I glued a bunch of stuff on it too, just so, because I'm sure my kids are going to be playing with it yeah. so they're not losing pieces and everything. Putting it in the fridge or freezer. Yeah, they can do that. <laughs> but at least the skeleton's like mostly glued together now. Yeah uh all right this might be a question you get a lot but do you think bandai will ever restart production on their re line of kits we actually don't get asked about the re kits all that much yeah we don't but um what was the last one they did they just did uh they're yeah they're making the last a one or two they did at chaos. Work, bandai kits no well that's not well, technically re 100 it's full mechanics yeah it's the same thing yeah <laughs> but uh re is what you see is usually what yeah they keep for re so mm -hmm. Um, I mean, so yeah, alternate universe stuff. Is yeah, full it's full mechanics. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't. I mean, I would think they would. I mean, they're still making that mm. type of kit. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, even like reprints. I know we had a chat a uh, question in the chat earlier asking if we knew about any RU reprints. Yeah, Have you seen any? No, not really. So the calamity's getting well again. That's a full mechanic, yeah. I guess. So, um, no. What they did the last two years um, for us is they'll give us a list of those RE kits, and then we'll order them, and that list is saying that we will make these sometime this year. Uh, they don't give us a quarter um, or a month like they do kind of all the other ones. It was a list at the beginning of the year saying, do you want these remade? How many would you order? And we might make them sometime this year. Mm. Um, I did not get that list this year. Yeah. Um, but the last two years I did. So, and I don't remember seeing any REs in any of, so at yeah. least to September. Um, you know, there are full mechanic ones, but yeah, um, no uh, RE. Sad. Yeah. I'm sure there will be, though. No, uh, they uh, announced the Raider. Yeah. And they have the Raider images for that. Chaos. Yeah, Raider. But actually, come to think of it, I mean, we when's ordered him to, when's that supposed to be coming out uh, i don't I remember look. yeah i yeah. know they're on order um and yeah. then supposedly next week the week of the 18th that we are april may so mm -hmm. um so of reprint stuff we'll get in about a month to two months and Bammy's like okay you ordered this many but we we should get that list here shortly for third quarter stuff and a second quarter early people are talking about Tim mentioned in the 100 greatest Kai and uh Now, yeah, list, so uh, the first list it did not get reprinted. We should get confirmed numbers next week. Um, so hopefully it is confirmed yeah. and we'll see them go. Yeah, I think we talked about that last time. I'm sure they're just uh, behind on production. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. I'm, I'm sure, sure the kit's done. It's just like 
they're just a, re, they're just producing yeah, them, yeah, making enough, or just not that they're behind in production, but that uh, they're they decided they probably need more than they were originally planning yeah, to make. Yeah. Um, but let's see uh, another question here uh, was actually from Tim, the same person who's there in the chat. Tim, uh, we're going to answer your question next. He's right here. Uh, he asked, in my opinion, you can answer it too. Yeah, yeah. Adam's opinion as well. Uh, does any Megami device uh, original color scheme look better than its later variant? I feel like the remix looks better than the OG. So he likes the like uh, different Should. alternate color versions. Yeah, like yeah. low what, low visibility, low visibility versions. And, the, yeah, uh, Aoi versions. Yeah. Um. So I am a fan usually of the original color. Usually, um, there's certain ones that I'm more a fan of mm -hmm. than others but like the asra ninja i like that one better than the other like the red and black yeah the red and black version. i like that better than the purple black and then they've got you know, the one that just went up yesterday for yeah. a pre-order that the so reprinting the yeah, reprinting. Versions of yeah. Those, yeah like the summer mm -hmm. version of yeah. white and pink and yellow yeah mm -hmm. so uh yeah i don't know i'm kind of the opposite actually yeah the, the uh the i do like the variants more than the original color the Aoi version is really nice. Uh, the bright colors on that are cool. And then I like the low visibility versions are really nice as well. Yeah. There's the low visibility versions of the Roadrunner, the Soul mm -hmm. ones, the Road, Roadrunner and the yeah. Hornets. Uh, those are also really cool. Yeah, I like those as well. Um, yeah, generally, I mean, they're all great. Uh, and he also asked about an Apex Shadow Edition. Way. Just wait. Well, so we should get more yeah. Apex kits, hopefully in the next like month or so. Yeah. Um, they've they finished and they've shipped them out to us. So we're getting a few. Maybe that could be something I can do just for a custom in the meantime. You could do Low visibility yeah. version. That'd be neat. Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Uh, but there you go, Tim. What's your take on the Bandai Metaverse based on the limited detail shared uh, gimmick or legit? Will you be signing up for it? I don't know. We'll see when it comes out. Yeah, um, yeah there, there's been very limited kind of anything about it. So Yeah, they've just um, shown like a few pictures. Yeah. Of, so it basically looks like it's like, a, what's that uh, VR thing that you can go into? Metaverse? No, 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 no. Well, I don't know what it's called, but I've seen like uh, years ago. PewDiePie oh, playing yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's just like a VR chat room. Yeah. Basically. Maybe that's what's called a VR chat room. No, Maybe. Something like that. Seems like Where that. Everyone looks like uh, Wii's from. Yeah, you can like choose your character. Yeah. So there's all sorts of different uh, like character designs and stuff. Yeah, that called? we'll see. Honestly, I probably won't even have time to. Even yeah, do I don't have time now to play games or anything. Yeah, so the new game, which, like or the beta for the new game, yeah. just came out. Everybody's playing that, but I'm like, I don't have any time. Yeah, I can't do that. I wish I did. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. It does look pretty fun, yeah. but I mean, yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah, there's not really too much details to go off at the moment. So for right now, for me, it's not really something I'm really all that interested in. Like, yeah. I like Gundam like as a franchise for the model kits. And if it's anything else, like even the anime, I don't really watch that much. Uh, yeah, maybe that's what it was. VR, VR chat. chat. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so I don't know. If it's going to be anything like that, like it's just going to be kind of like a mess. Yeah. But like one of the features I saw in there was like saying that you could buy a Gumpla from wherever. So I wonder if that means like Ben is going to have an option to be able to order stuff directly like from Japan through there, which is going to be weird. I don't expect that. Yeah, that would be interesting. That would be something that they would really try to work into that. Sorry, someone asked if we just got those in. Uh, must have missed the beginning. <laughs> Lightning Sykes. Yeah, there yeah. you go, Brandon. Yes, we did. Um, I just got those. Yeah, we'll see doing. what they... Um, I don't know. Like, there's There's so much kind of stuff, different things come out metaverse stuff and i honestly don't even know if how people are really mean me you know, your everyday normal person how do you keep up with all this yeah stuff? <laughs> so, I don't know. i'm still trying to figure out what the heck nfts are they are <laughs> don't get into it garbage no yeah fine. some of them are stupid. cool but you uh <laughs> Are there any plans to create add-on packs, accessories, or anything for the yes. next model while we're on the topic of that? Yep, yep, definitely. Yeah. Um, there definitely will be. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to get, like, uh, giant missile pods and basically make, like, a heavy arms apex That'd be neat. with, like, a million Gatling guns and everything. I'm sure it's going to happen. As soon as we announce the apex contest, 
Yeah. Somebody's going to make that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, I mean, I'm not announcing it now at this point, but I mean, safe to say we will have an Apex contest yeah, at some yeah. point in the future. Yeah. Probably when they we get a whole bunch of them. Yeah, more right. Stuff, yeah. yeah. Uh, so just something to think about for the time being, guys. Get some ideas going. Uh, my five-year-old has been building Gumpla for just over a year now. Which nice. kit comes to mind for the most playability or least hand grenade-y? Michael asked. That'd be a better question for you, I guess, you built. Uh, we had a similar question last time. Somebody was asking about buying kits for their niece and nephew or something like yeah. that. Um, I think our answer was entry grade. Yeah. It's good. Because uh, the least parts. I'm surprised that whenever I see this about people like building kits with their like four year olds, five year olds, my son's six and like he can do it, like sort of, but he definitely like still needs some help. And, yeah. Like, so awesome. it's not that easy. Yeah. So like yeah. impressive that yeah. people's four or five year olds are, are building kits. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for Gundam stuff, that's the problem is like Gundam, just like by their design, they're a little bit more complex rather than like building like a Pokemon yeah. kit or something. Yeah. But if they're that young, I think they would probably just just as much enjoy like a Pokemon model kit. So check out like the Pokeplot quick kits, especially or yeah, as you might expect, very quick to put together, yeah. very easy. So especially for young kids. Uh, but if you want Gundam stuff, yeah, the entry grade line. It's so unfortunately there's not many options no, out yet for no, that. No. Uh, but early HGUC stuff is really simple. Yeah, yeah, it is. Not yeah. quite. I mean, that might that might not find, be as stable. But... Well, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> now I was just gonna say that it might not be like uh, as stable. You might have more like kind of parts being a little bit loose or something like that on some of those kits, possibly, because uh, they're like really polycap heavy. Yeah. It's like a million polycaps in this early HGs. Uh, but it could be something to try. They're cheap too. A they lot are of them, extremely, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You get like any of like the first dozen two dozen hguc kits and they're all pretty cheap uh all right so what do you think about the bandai bluefin merger and all other transitions bandai has made um i mean it's good i mean obviously they're merging yeah you know, there are there are two entities they had here in the states into one entity so you're not kind of trying for as far as for us we're not trying to order different things from mm -hmm. the two different. Now we just have to worry about one company to go through to, to get everything from, you know, Bandai, which, you know, so as far as a business aspect, it's easier and not as complicated. Um, you know, you see something that's getting announced and you're trying to figure out, okay, which company is going to actually have it that I can order it from. Um, as far as it being good for, I guess consumers, I think it, it's going to, I know there's things that will better help us as a company be able to mm -hmm. get more kits <clears throat> to be able to, you know, get them out to everybody else. Um, I just don't know how much, I guess we'll just leave it at kind of that, honestly. So. Yeah. I, th I think uh, just uh, another way to look at it is that it definitely shows that Bandai is recognizing uh the interest here mm -hmm. in America yeah. and they're willing to invest in that. Yeah. Cause that's, I mean, like a big thing for them to, to do over here. So I think that in the U S anyway, it, it's only good news just shows that Bandai is, you know, paying attention to what's yeah. going on over here. Whereas yeah. for a long time, like that was kind of the meme online. People kept saying like, oh, Bandai doesn't care about anywhere outside of Japan. Well, so obviously they do. Yeah. So yeah. I think that um, just means that we'll probably see Gundam bases start popping up in every big city. <laughs> we'll see a one-to-one -one scale Gundam, one on the yeah. East Coast, one on the West Coast. No, not anytime soon. <laughs> but, you know, it opens up that possibility <clears throat> yeah. for stuff like that. Yeah, and, it, and it's, yeah, I mean, exactly what you said. It, it shows, you know, obviously the more you guys buy stuff, um, you know, here in the States, mm -hmm it shows that the U.S. has demand for it, mm -hmm. which then encourages Bandai to invest over here more and more. Um, so really, it's thanks to you guys buying mm. kits that you know, Bandai's making those moves. You vote with your dollars. Yeah, mm -hmm. money talks, guys. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> if I put in a pre-order, this is a kind of a technical question, but a very important one, so mm -hmm. it's good. Uh, Gumpla Hurdy asked, if I put in a pre-order for the Shenlong and I want to add... Uh, sets to that order. Could I call your people and have them combine the two orders? 
uh, at the later date to save on shipping. Yes. Yeah. Just uh, you can actually send us an email, give us a phone call. Um, we are, you can call from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sometimes we call after 4 p.m. You might get somebody and that's Eastern time. So if you know, you're in California, make sure, you know, check, check mm -hmm. your time zones. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we can definitely, if nothing's shipped out or nothing's been picked or getting ready to ship, it's super easy just to combine them and then refund mm -hmm. any extra shipping that you paid. Mm -hmm. um, I know that if you're doing, I like, just kind of consistently doing it over and over and over again. <laughs> um, yeah, that might, you might get annoyed. Yeah. She, yeah. Um, you can also too, your order will never ship out. So it's just literally, you're just kind of saving and saving. So we have one person that literally mm -hmm. calls, adds the new stuff uh -huh. and then he, like his order is massive uh -huh. but he's it's never going to ship out it's, helping. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's never going to ship out because yeah. they just keep adding the new stuff to it so yeah yeah right uh but i mean like this type option is available for yeah. you guys so if you want to do anything like like that or whatever you know you just call or email then you know we can answer that for you most of the time yeah. we are able to do stuff like that yeah so. like if you ever have a question feel free to email mm -hmm. and call us um you know like so like zach said i mean most cases we you know we should be able to accommodate whatever you need mm -hmm. uh what's an older kit that you believe deserves a higher quality redesign zogak for ron <laughs> Zuck. Zuck. Um The, um, why can't I think of it? The Ground Gundam has a big claws as a high grade version. Like, they have a mass grade version too. What? I can't think of it. Ground Gundam with claws? No, well, it's a, it's a Zeta, or, or not a Zeta. It's a Zeon suit. <sighs> the Zizulu? No. Oh. It's huh? brown and yellow. Brown. The Gog? Yes, thank you. The like potato. Yeah, the with potato. like the, yeah. like the claw arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Wolverine looking potato. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's so old. That kid's massively old. Yeah, I mean, I don't know really know how much they could really improve on that design Listen, with the newer one. You know, you have operation. What they could make it. Here's a. Here's. We get this question sometimes, and I never really know what to say about like what we would like to see Bandai do as far as like engineering in the future, motors or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. But here's something I didn't never thought of for stuff like that that has like the arms or like the, the Zigok here, where they have the extendo arms. The Zigok doesn't, but like the other suits, like yeah. the Hagog or something, where the arm extends, they use like some kind of springs or something in the arms, so you are actually able to actually extend, extend the arms. Yeah. Uh, something like that would be pretty cool. It would be cool. Mm. I don't so, know how they would do it in a way that would be like convincing. It'd probably be more of like I don't a know, I don't know, but, yeah, clear part that you can just ratchet out maybe. I don't know. Something like that would be cool. I mean, that's like a small thing that only applies to like four or five different mobile suits, but it would be cool to yeah. see. Uh, have you ever considered making uh, Apex brand hands, weapons, or anything uh, besides just detail parts, so like the for the resin parts. Yeah, um, I mean, there's stuff coming um, that is kind of more weapon-based. Hands, not yet, honestly. There's a lot of third-party hands out there, though, mm. that aren't, that are good quality. Yeah. Um, that's just probably why we haven't, because there's so many different yeah. third-party options, mm. whereas there's, I mean, there's way less for detail parts and you know, weapon kits and stuff. So, mm. but if you guys have ideas, you know, definitely, I mean, just in. let us know. If yeah. we know that you got, there's a lot of you guys interested in stuff mm -hmm. like that, then it's something we'll look into more. But, yeah. um, yeah, I think there's always stuff that we're open to check out new designs, ideas for stuff. Here's Joey's question: Do you think we'll ever see a 2.0 or a total remake of the Wing EW kits? I mean, aside from the one that we just got, the Verka, which is I like... I think he point. might be talking about maybe the high-grade ones. The Wing Endless Waltz gets... Oh, like the... The older... Well, just because he said 2.0, so yeah. he's talking about Master Grades. Because, I mean, they did do the Verka one. Well, let's let's assume he's talking... I think he even asked about that when he was here the other day, right? Um, I don't remember. Or he was... 
I remember talking about that recently. Was he talking about I think he was. I think he was talking about the high grades at the time. Okay. So, uh, or we were talking about there or something. We were talking about we the HT talking. and the Swaltz kids. Yeah. Let's assume. Okay. Let's, okay. Um, I would. I would think so. Eventually. Um, I don't know if it'd be anytime soon, mm. and it would probably just be like one at a time, kind of like how they just did the other right. high grade wings. With how they've been going through the high grade wing series kits. I don't think that they would keep continuing that into the into the endless waltz suits at this time, right? Because it's just too spending too much time on one series. Mm -hmm. They they done like the main suits from Wing, then they'll move on to do something else yeah, for a while, and maybe someday so. in the future they'll come back and, and do, do new HGs. Oh, he's talking about the MGs anyway, but. <laughs> the MGs, yeah, no, same. I wouldn't expect that because they're not that old. They're like mm -mm, yeah, ten they're, years old, right? So no, I wouldn't expect two point of any of those. The reason why they made the Verkov the the wing, the Angel Wings wing Gundam, is just because that one was it's older. Actually, pretty old. Yeah, yeah, the other ones aren't newer. Right. So. Um, and that one did definitely benefit a lot from a two point The other ones are still pretty new. Uh, did you ever end up ordering? Oh, do you ever end up ordering? too many of a specific kit yeah all the time so it's it's difficult because you the way this business works all is, the time well i mean these days nah, not that much uh, it depends yeah. um so the way for like bandai kits work is we have to order basically six months in advance now um so you kind of have to figure out especially newer kits is a little bit harder figure out what you think is going to sell well like a brand new line yeah brand new like line Kyokai Zenki, yeah brand new example. line or you know maybe a, a remake of a kit or it just it just depends There's so many different different or like weird stuff like the mammoth kit yeah for example. yeah so you, you yeah. literally have no sales history on that item and you have to order it six months in advance mm -hmm. and you got to try to figure out how to order as much as you need to cover pre-orders and have some still in stock so yeah, sometimes you overestimate that and you end up with way more or a kit that was not popular that no one wanted and you thought was going to be popular. Or you end up ordering a lot of a kit that you think is going to be popular, but you don't end up getting for them. You, whatever reason, <laughs> uh, yeah. many different reasons you don't end up getting it till way later when yeah. everybody already has the kit. Yeah. So there's That's a lot before. of things. Yeah. That has <laughs> but there's a lot of things that kind of go yeah there, it's 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 an interesting business to be in because you're doing a lot of guesswork and mm. even kits that have been are getting reprints um you know the demand for kits has gone up so much mm. but has it you know what level has it gone up, up to so yeah as far as like anything reprint basically it seems like these days you just order as much as you can get of anything yeah and, and it's gundam related yeah and, and, and kind of right now you know we'll order a whole bunch of something and then our allocation is maybe half or a little bit less than half right now of that so you know it, there's just a lot that kind of goes into it right now it's a interesting business to be in mm. uh all right uh kiwi wee wee asked are there any mgs that a person getting into the hobby or just hasn't built uh, mgs should build i have a whole video dedicated to this so uh that i did, did maybe about six uh, seven months ago yeah or so so you can go back and check that video out it was like uh we're just beginner mgs or like what mgs should you build when you're getting into gunpla but anything that comes to mind for you i mean the newer ones i think are good um and then some of the older ones it just depends on kind mm -hmm. of what I guess what level you think you're at. I mean, a, a Barbados yeah. is going to be more complicated than uh, yeah. with the Master Grade Gog that we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, but you might like the Barbados more. And usually yeah. if you can build a kit, you can kind of build all kits. It just yeah. might take you a little bit more time. Um, so if it's something you want to get done quick, get a more, you know, less part yeah. mass kit. But you should be able to build... Mm -hmm. a, a more complicated kit you know it's not when we say more complicated it's not like you're pulling out drills and things like that and need yeah. all these tools it's it's the same stuff there's just more parts mm -hmm. and you can do it um, right yeah generally uh the most important thing is getting a kit that you're excited about mm -hmm. yep uh, you know there's no mg that's like really difficult right. that like 
I think probably if I had to choose one that would be like the most difficult, like maybe the Barbatos just for the inner frame yeah. or like the Sazbi Burka, just because that's a pretty parts heavy yeah. kit. But even with those, it's just more parts basically. And uh, as long as you follow the manual, You're you'll good. be fine. Yeah. yeah. It's not, yeah. It'll take you more time. But like we talked about before, like sometimes taking more time on a kit is a, a good thing. Honestly, mm -hmm. I, I kind of like that. Yeah. So, yeah, you get your money's worth. Yeah. You get the experience to build longer. Mm -hmm. um, usually part heavier kits look better. Yeah, there's more parts. Which is what's great about the Zoids HMM kits. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, the Zoids HMM kits would be the kind of thing that I would maybe not recommend for uh, if you've never built like any Bandai master grade kits, then jumping to that, which is like even more complex and like really detailed. Yeah. I would maybe not recommend that for like a beginner, but like a, just the very next baby step after beginner, then you'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> really. It's not that difficult. So yeah. uh, just get something that you like. And, you know, if you're not sure that you'll like just master grades in general, maybe you just kind of prefer high grades. You just want to try out a master grade. Try one of like the cheaper, simpler ones. See if you like it. Like the Gym Sniper 2 or something. Yeah. Which is a really great kit. Not very expensive. Uh, Jeremy said, what tips would you give to or something? Well, you already answered this question about over sanding. Must be the same one. Uh, what's your favorite kind of decal for Plamo? Mecha decals. Mecha decals. Mecha available decals, now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mecha decals are great. They are very say. good. Uh, Cartograph does a good job. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, there's a lot of different decals. Uh, it just really kind of depends what you're looking for i mean there's mm -hmm. there's ones that are pre-cut which usually the ones that are pre-cut i found sometimes those so like the bandai decals are a little bit thicker mm. um like cartographs are pre-cut and they're not as thick yeah um i think the reason why bandai does that is the same reason why bandai's kits are designed they are is that they're meant for, to be for kids yeah, yeah. um high q has really good or not meant to be for kids i should say they're meant to be easy. Beginner to friendly. Yeah. They're 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 not meant to be super complicated. Um, but that's what's aftermarket stuff. Uh Haiku decals are really good. Yeah. I would I would definitely say that. Um is it's a probably the line. main company of the majority of decals you see. Like if you look around on like yeah. builds online and stuff, the majority of the decals you're gonna see on stuff is probably uh HIQ stuff. Yeah, which I believe those are cartograph as well, if I remember correctly. I believe so. Yeah. So yeah. if you find anything that's made by cartograph, they are good. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the mecha decals are really great. Though. Yeah. So if you guys have like seen those on our website and mm -hmm. you're wondering like if you should try them or not, if you're wondering about the quality, I think that they are really, really good yes. quality. So um, for me personally, I either use those or IQ. And that's kind of like the main thing. But uh, I do uh, sometimes use the SIMP decals as well uh and just bandai ones but just bandai doesn't make that many they're usually like yeah. for specific kits they yeah. don't make like just general purpose ones that much um let's see what grunt suit uh would you like to see as a mega size i would like to see mega size anything really uh, a at this graze point. i think would be cool uh, what idea a graze mm -hmm. that would be cool um i guess so but if I could choose anything, I don't know. Like I love the design of the grays, but it's like a mega size. Jim. Mm. Leo. The goof custom would be awesome. It's not really a grunt though. No. It's kind of like a specialized, specialized grunt. Like grunt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know. That's a tough one. So there's a lot of great well, it's like Leo, nah, not really. It's another nice grunt design, but I don't know if it would really be make a mega size that well. Uh, just thinking back to like whenever we talk about favorite grunt suits, I'm just thinking like some of the most common ones I hear people bring up a lot. I know a lot of people always mention they love the Jesta, which I always kind of think of as well. It's kind of, it's kind of like a super grunt. Yeah. yeah. Um, the Rezzle would be cool. Yeah. Just because it's like a pretty big design. So as a mega size, it would be huge. huge. Yeah. yeah. And that would, that would be a cool one. Actually, the Rezzle is a design that I didn't really like at first for a long time, but it grew on me a lot. I really like it a lot now. Uh, how oh, do you guys know how well the MAMES kit, I think he means the, a MAM kits, are selling in the US? The uh, Kyokai Senki kits. Yeah, those are, are doing, in the US. those are doing very well. Mm. Yeah, those are doing pretty. 
that's why they keep making more and more. I think they're doing well kind of everywhere. Yeah. Um, so I honestly think that those are probably helped a lot by the fact that there's not a ongoing Gundam series yeah. at the moment. I think like if that series came out at the same time while like Build Fighters was going on and they had to compete the yeah. kids that I think the Kyokai Senki kids probably wouldn't be doing as well if they were coming out at the same time as right. other different HG Gundam kits. Because I think HG Gundam kits is probably what people want more mm -hmm. generally. But just because there's not much of that coming out, people are like, all right, I'll yeah. give the Kyokai Senki kids That's a try. Um, because they're just more unconventional designs that you know generally people just like they like what they like yeah. gundam stuff but uh and any update on the hypnos ex myth cloth i don't know what that is Say, 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 yeah stuff. um yeah. not yet i mean i'm i'm assuming they should arrive soon but we haven't gotten any shipping information or anything about those yet so uh what are your thoughts on the revealed uh, which from Mercury and Mecha Designs? Was I that think our, Yeah, well, I don't know if it's episode. out. No, I mean, like, in our last episode, did we talk about that? I think it came out yeah. in between, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, they're pretty neat. Um, actually, I think it just got maybe announced that day. Maybe it was or something. Because I remember we did talk about it. Because we said it was, like, a cross between, like, IBO and... Right, something like that, Double yeah. O or something. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, I, I, they're pretty neat. Yeah, I'm not really sold on the designs. <clears throat> Sorry that much yet. <clears throat> they yeah, they're a bit they're odd. They're different. Yeah. But different's not bad. Yeah. Um they do remind me a lot of uh Wrecking East NG. Not mm -hmm. in, like the design, but just like because they're different so different in a similar way to how Wrecking East NG was different, so that like the Wrecking East NG kits weren't that great as kits just because the design was so different. And I'm worried that that could happen with this line, but what we've seen of the kits, they look good. Yeah. Uh, we've only seen like a couple images of them so far. Um, just switching over to take a few questions here from Instagram before we get to the giveaway here in a little bit. Uh, will the US be getting any classic MG restocks anytime soon? Yeah, the last um, order that we just got what last week mm -hmm. I was we were talking about uh, how many master grades were actually on that uh, mm -hmm. reorder list. So yeah. hopefully some of those do get produced off that list. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of master like, grades uh, on there. One there year was, war, one year war stuff. stuff the yeah. master grade Rizel was on there. Um, the Gog was on there. The Gelgoog was on there. Charge Gelgoog was on there. Um, a lot of stuff was on there mm -hmm. for master grades. So. But like you said, we'll see how much of that actually gets produced right. and how much of it gets produced. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's always stuff coming out. <laughs> uh, Mobile Suit Misfit asks, will you be holding a contest anytime soon? Well, we, we are we currently are holding a contest <laughs> right now. Yeah. Uh, but another contest after that, yeah, surely. Like we've got uh, different ideas for contests. So, mm -hmm. you know, we just have to allow ample time for each contest we can't uh, run multiple at the same time yeah, yeah but you know we'll do this one and then we'll do the next one mm -hmm. so yeah we'll always have contests going uh the current one is the hg uh, battle log contest but the next one we will announce later yeah. but that's uh, wrapping up on the 22nd so yeah which should be around the time of our next episode our next episode should be the 23rd of i believe Remember correctly looking at my calendar here. Oh, on no, the 22nd. So it'll be done on the 22nd, which will be the day of our next episode. We won't obviously have the winners selected at that no, time. Yeah. Uh, but we will announce the winners after that. For that. Uh, what's the best SD? I love a good SD, but obviously there are some that are better than others, which stand out to you. Um, I like the cross silhouette ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. I did not like the E was it EX standard yeah. ones. Um, I didn't like those. Um, honestly, the newer ones that they have with like the SD Heroes line, I think is really uh -huh. good. The Sengo was it Sengoku or Sangoku? Sengoku. Then. Yeah, mm -hmm. those are um, those are really good too. Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, exactly. The uh, the later, especially like the uh, Unicorn series mm -hmm. SDBB kits, are all really nice. From I've built a couple of them, but I know 
people like them a lot. The yeah. Kshatriya is really yeah. cool, for example. Um, but yeah, any of the SD cross silhouette kits are great. Um, I've built a few of those. Uh, the Nightingale in particular is really nice, or the, just the ARC-72 is yeah. really good. Um, yeah, the Sengoku Den kits are great. Um, you have a, you do have a lot of good options. Yeah. There's a lot of SD Tons kits out of there. Options, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the best, I don't know, maybe my like my favorite of them that I've ever built. I've built two ever, so maybe the Nightingale is maybe my favorite. I don't know if I could say it's the best, but it is it's really fun. Because the HG and especially the RE yeah. are so huge, it's nice to have just like a nice little one. Smaller version. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh will there be any chance of an ibo season three in the future due to small specials coming out later for ibo i don't think so maybe they've never ever done a season three of any gundam series there's been like a other movie. yeah well they've had um yeah i mean you see has shoot offs, I yeah. guess. So they could do shoot offs kind of like, like how Zeta and then double and Zeta. Zeta. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean they might do something like that, mm -hmm. which would be kind of neat. Double IBO. Double IBO. <laughs> um eighth MS team. So maybe they'll have like another, you know, who knows? I mean I wouldn't say no, but you never know. Instead of arm blood orphans, like arm blooded parents. <laughs> it's like a series based on them while they're like, like China, parents yeah. and then their kids are Gundam pilots. Maybe. Who knows? But yeah, they could do something like that. Yeah, that's, that's possible. Or like something else in the IBO. In the universe. universe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you think there will be <laughs> MGs for the new show or will it get done during like G-Reku? Yeah, well, like I was we'll saying, <laughs> the designs remind me of Rekongista and G in that way. So it could end up being, you know, Similar in that, that we won't get any MGs anytime soon. But there was that announcement for the MG aerial. I just heard about that last week, right? Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. I, th I saw that in a video online. Uh, biggest hopes for a Witch of Mercury. Uh, you think you kind of hope any Gundam series does well? So, I mean. Mm, biggest hopes. Uh, I hope it has a good storyline. <laughs> yeah, I hope they'll make a lot of HGs from the series because that's when like you, there's like a good hype train going for Gumpla in general mm -hmm. is when we have like consistent HGs coming yeah. out from a series and then like people are excited like month after month there's a new HG coming out that people are looking forward to and like yeah. if the line's good like that's kind of good for just kind of creating energy in mm -hmm. the community just when there's consistent hgs coming out from a new series people are interested in so uh, that would be my biggest hope just to get people hyped on the yeah. kits yeah definitely uh all right oh. well will we restock more resin kits or just will we stock more resin kits maybe. we get asked this question yeah pretty um, i mean maybe it just yeah. depends on a lot of things i, I think that's yeah, will we have other resin kits in the future? I'm sure. Uh, here's a good question because I was actually thinking about this last night to making an entire video dedicated to this topic. <laughs> uh, so this is actually something you guys may see a full video on later uh, over on my channel. But uh, here, Ed B four four five said, "How do you turn your hobby into a way to make money?" There are a number of ways mm -hmm. to do that. Uh, and then there's a lot of people out there who would just hate that question because they would say, it's supposed to be a hobby for fun. You shouldn't be doing it for money. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, if, you if you're doing something you enjoy, you're never working. So, um, I mean, obviously, I turned my hobby into this. Do you hate coming to work every day? No, I enjoy coming yeah. to work every day. Neither do I. So. <laughs> uh, uh, honestly, it's it, as long as you enjoy it and you have passion about it, you, you can turn any hobby into something that can, you know, make you some money. And it, it really kind of that comes down to the individual and how much work they're willing to, willing to put in. Um, as far as like with me, I'm always working. I'm never mm -hmm. not working. I mean, I'll be on vacation and I'll 
answering emails. Yeah, yeah I'll be yeah. answering emails. I'll be wa sitting, waiting on a ride at Disney, going on my phone, answering emails as I'm waiting to get on, you know, Dumbo. Yeah. Um, so it, it really just amounts to you and how much work you are willing to put in will be honestly how you become successful. Um, you know, with kind of what you said, people are like, oh, it's a hobby, it shouldn't be work. If you enjoy it, it's not really work. Do I enjoy answering emails while I'm waiting in line every day? <laughs> no, but um, I do enjoy being able to talk to people about the hobby and be right. able to bring them things that they enjoy. So. Yeah, I, I was going to say, like, uh, you don't get to enjoy the, the building part of the hobby as, as much. much as I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I mean, but you enjoy like what you do mm -hmm. in the, within the hobby yeah. of like making the kids available to yeah. people like through our store and everything. But like, yeah. Uh, as far as like wanting to make money in a hobby, I mean, like if people weren't wanting to make money in the hobby, then like wave wouldn't exist. Could right. it wouldn't exist. And I like these companies wouldn't exist. So I mean, like, you need people that are like wanting to make something to sell to other mm -hmm. people as like, if you want to be able to consume, right. somebody has got to be making that. Yeah. Um, so I mean, yeah, there's different ways. There's um, like obviously sp sponsorships. Generally, in in this hobby, sponsorships don't usually involve money. It's more likely like you're just getting some kits or paints or something mm -hmm. to try out from a company, and like you'd be making money through like YouTube ad revenue, yeah, or, like Instagram. I, don't, I still don't understand how people make money off Instagram though. I think it's just like through like partnership deals not actually through Instagram. yeah it would have to be yeah from the company right. directly so bigger companies might contact yeah. you and be like hey if you show this product we'll give you this amount of money yeah yeah um so like that's that but definitely like if you're interested in that i mean just make smart decisions too i would definitely not uh, i don't think this really happens that much on youtube as much as it did but there's like uh companies that will reach out to you especially like if your channel is growing they'll say like uh we'll you like sign a contract. I forget what they're called. You like sign a contract with them, and like they supposedly will help you to like marketing your videos and stuff, and like getting your videos out there. I know there's companies that will do contracts with influencers, and then those companies will have merchandise to give to the influencer to promote. So it's like mm -hmm. a middleman between the companies. So the middle they will get the actual contracts from the like mm -hmm. you know Kellogg's or whatever. And then they'll have like 20 influencers mm. that will all talk about. Uh, loops. Um, I know that is kind of getting and growing yeah. um, on there. That's but... just a way for, for companies to, uh, they yes, want to do that marketing, but they don't have anybody internally to reach out who, to who's able to do yeah. that. Yes. Yeah, so they have a, I'm talking more like just the companies that uh, basically just try to get influencers to sign on and then they give you like tools for promoting your videos and they just take like a portion of your ad revenue every month yeah it, don't do that if any company reaches out to you like oh we want to help you to grow your channel just don't do that you can grow your channel by yourself um but like yeah, there's a lot of ways making actual products too like if yeah. you do 3d printing for example you know like uh printing stuff and selling it to people some people yeah. do that uh, or like if you're into like making designs, you can design t-shirts, clothing and stuff. I know like in this particular hobby, clothing um, doesn't sell that well, just yeah. because like if people have $20 to spend, they would rather buy a new kit rather yeah. than a, a t-shirt normally. But I mean, there's people like Joel, True Gumpla, he sells a lot of his t-shirts. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it can be done. You just have to have really cool designs. Yeah. Uh, but no, there's, a, I mean, there's a lot of ways uh, that you can make money, but I mean, you should still, of course, just be enjoying the hobby. I mean, yeah. Don't get too wrapped up in just trying to make money off of it. Right. Then, because then you're not, honestly. And that'll point. show and yeah. people will notice. Yeah. And, and then people won't like that. Right. I mean, it's still a really small hobby. It's still a very, uh, very close community, I think. Mm -hmm. And people will know if you're just in trying to make money. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that is a good point for us to end on. Let's go ahead and uh, choose our winner for the giveaway. <laughs> And let's see here. So we're going to switch over to our random number generator. We have three, not 310, three platforms to choose from. And one, which is YouTube community tab. 
this time where we had 113 comments and 110. All right, hey, that's easy. I can count back from man. that. <laughs> it's doing something. Let me just go ahead and refresh that though. And it's 118 now, actually. So let me just count up from there. Let's go all the way to the bottom. So 110 it was, right? Yeah. Always happens every time I forget the number like two seconds after reading <laughs> it. All right, so 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Yay. There you go. Twisted Bog, what's round of applause for Twisted Bog? Congrats. Uh, you left a comment. Yeah. Uh, what was your first real grade? Mine was the red frame, and that's one of two that I've built. So, yeah, ah. real grade red frame was mine. You must like that one. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Uh, I did like that one as well, actually. That was a really nice one. I'm not that big of an Astray fan, but I did really like that kit. Um, speaking of the Astray, next week, guys, I'll be live building the new uh, high-resolution version of the Astray, the Big Arms powered mm -hmm. uh, Astray. So I'll be live building that next week over on my channel, just since we're talking about it. Yeah. Uh, to answer the question, though, my first RG was actually the... Uh, Mechanical clear version of the RX-782. Really? They're like, uh, I think it was a Gundam base exclusive color version of that. They had a clear armor on it. Uh, because I wasn't really into the RG line at first. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Yeah, I know it's cutting out there. Um, I was able to get all the other HG or all the other RG kits that were out at the time was like the Zaku's, the Gundam Mark II's, and maybe one or two other things. It was not that much at that time. Oh, for like fifteen dollars each yeah. was my from secondhand stores in Japan. Nice. So it was very cheap. But um, yeah, send us an email mm -hmm. to support usagunstore.com. Um, it was YouTube. So we just need an image mm -hmm. screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account uh, and then what address you want us to ship that to. And we will get that out to you. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm just leaving a comment there on that. Twisted bug. There you go. Awesome. So yeah, congrats. Yeah. Um, thank you guys all for hanging out yep. this morning. Yeah. Thank Anything you. Else? Yeah. No, just thank you guys so much for all your support. I mean, without you. What we love to do um thank you guys for your patience with kind of delays from model kits to figures to almost everything so yeah um yeah you know, thank you guys so much for all your patience and uh yeah have a great rest of your uh day and weekend yes yeah uh and again if you got questions about stuff about your orders we had the question earlier about like combining orders when yeah. you guys have questions about that stuff just reach out uh mm -hmm. we'll let you know definitely okay bye guys have a good bye. weekend